What motivated Tim Berners-Lee to start coding the world's first web server? Was it a love for coding, like a handyman with a hammer looking for a nail? Not quite. His motivation wasn't the act of coding itself, but a vision, a better way to organize information using the internet. He used code as a tool to bring his vision to life. As developers, it's easy to let that label define us, as if the only goal is to write more and better code. But whether you've been coding for three days or three decades, you'll eventually face an uncomfortable question. Do I actually enjoy coding? When so much of your life revolves around it, your income, your colleagues, and even your identity, it's easy to assume the answer is, of course. But is it? For years, I felt inadequate around colleagues who lived and breathed code. They spent their weekends on obscure programming languages, while I spent mine living it up in London, with my laptop firmly closed. I've come to realize there's nothing wrong with that. Development can pay the bills without being your entire world. It's just a tool, not an identity. In this video, I share why shifting your focus from coding itself to exploring your interests by building software can reignite your passion for development in a way few people consider. Do you remember writing your first few lines of code? Was it enjoyable? When I was 13 years old, I tried to teach myself Visual Basic and quit out of frustration. Over the years, I tried again and again, and only through a lot of effort did I eventually grasp the basics. My teacher once described me as not a natural programmer, and to be honest, he was right. When you hear about Bill Gates spending his teenage years coding in the computer lab, it can feel like success requires that same obsession. But Gates used code to achieve his vision, eventually creating Windows 95 to bring computing to the mainstream. But code was just a tool to do this. Fortunately, if building an entire operating system doesn't excite you, there are countless other projects that could. Have you ever played simulation games like Roller Coaster Tycoon? Its creator, Chris Soyup, thought it would be fun to simulate roller coasters in a semi realistic way. He started this pet project during some time off, following an interest in roller coasters to an interest in the other parts of the world he was creating. This grew organically into what is today a cult classic game. This shows that following one interest can lead in unexpected directions, like how I created three web apps related to my interest in YouTube. YouTube. Building them and experiencing the pain of rewriting the same boilerplate code led me to start work on my current web app bootstrap project. You see, your interests aren't fixed, they evolve as you go through life. Once you understand this, software development becomes a lot more interesting. Have you started using AI in your development workflow? Today, a chatbot can write in seconds what used to take hours. Some developers resent this, mourning the end of handcrafting code. But for others, it's a game changer, a faster way to bring ideas to life. Ultimately, it's not about writing code, it's about what you create with it. Just like Tim Berners-Lee building the web, Bill Gates creating Windows, or Chris Sawyer designing Roller Coaster Tycoon. The motivation isn't the code, it's the vision behind it. When you see coding as a tool, you open yourself to endless possibilities fueled by your own curiosity. Explore your interests, pursue a better future, and enjoy endless motivation as you build something meaningful. See you in the next one.